Hey guys, it's Google again with another video and this time I'm going to share with you guys a few applications which I use on a daily basis which make my life really really easy. So let's get started. So guys, now there are a lot of applications for Android, it's not a new news and uh, there are a lot of applications which do the same purpose uh, for Android also. So that makes it a very difficult task for any one application to be chosen by anyone. So I thought I would just help you guys out with a few of those choices with what I use for most of my daily tasks. First of all, what you see here is Nova Launcher. I am using Nova Launcher for all of my needs. It has very, very good uh, customization. I am using Nova Prime uh, from Play Store. It is really cool. And if you have a chance, if you uh, do really like customizing your uh, launcher to what you need, try this out it has been the best investment one of my best investments i have made it's pretty awesome now comes all the other stuff if you don't know this yet already i'm a huge google guy i use all the services from google i use the maps from google i use gmail i use keep i use play games i do use google uh, goggles which is pretty amazing for finding this esoteric kind of a thing out from uh, your shopping list or something like that i also use youtube and uh, that is pretty cool so entertainment and all that i mean i use studio for uh, monitoring comments on that but uh, google plus also has that option in the notification and i do use that more because it just feels better so that is another thing for camera I do use all of these camera applications which is basically the Oxygen OS camera is what I have uh, binded to my double tap option which is going to work out very well. Uh, it, it just takes an automatic photograph, I don't really need to think too much about that. I do use camera FV5 for more in depth, uh, well if I want to do more with my photograph I do use that. There's also you can perfect and also I guess there is uh, this application which I use B6, B612 for selfies if I am inclined to do so. So yeah. Now for entertainment, these are my trio of entertainment applications. I use Power Ramp for all my uh, music needs. There are other applications or there are other uh, music available for many of my systems. But uh, well, I have been using Power Ramp for quite a while now when I was using my Sony phone. This works perfectly i did not have any issues with this one uh back in the day it did have issues with bluetooth connectivity but it seems to be resolved now for videos i use mx player works pretty much amazing i did not have any issues at all works out pretty well and uh, that that's pretty now for gallery i use uh this one which is called uh quick pick well, I know QuickPick used to be one of the lightest and one of the best picture gallery application available. Then it was uh, bought by, I guess, CM, uh, Cheetah Mobiles, and uh, it got a lot of slack for that. But I still like it. I still use it pretty much every time. And uh, it does have a lot of uh, functionality, which I personally do not use at all. But mo for most part, it works great as a picture viewer and I really like it and uh, it's something which I use on the daily. Now for messengers and social life which I call this folder, there are a few uh, of these applications which I use daily. I use WhatsApp daily, that's just normal for a normal person. I use Instagram also, so yeah, I do use that. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can uh, do so for the uh, handle Googly, so sh shameless plug there. Uh, I do put in a few of my life choices in here, so that's just there. So yeah, Instagram is another thing which I use every day. I know this is not new for uh, most people, but it is what I use. Now, I also use Hangouts for mainly helping out people who are not having a good time with their phone. So if you, if any one of you has uh, have a problem with your ROM, with your phone, if you want some kind of tech support uh, with phones, well, I personally, I'm very inclined towards helping other people out. I normally do say this on all of my comments. If you have any issues with any of the ROMs which I review or any applications or anything in general, which I might be understanding, I might know if you have a problem 
problem with computers, if you have a problem with phones, anything technological based, you can hit me up. I may or may not be able to help you guys. So yeah, that's something there. Phoenix is my uh, choice of Twitter applications because it looks amazing. It looks pretty bitching. I really like the uh, aesthetics of it. I used to I used to use an application called Carbon, which was an amazing application. I really like that one. But well. Sadly, the developer, I guess, shut down the uh, development on that. Uh, it just doesn't update anymore. So I switched up to Phoenix and it's been really cool. It's a paid application, but it is amazing for what it does. Now again, Allo and Duo is something which I have installed, but I rarely use them. Also, Geo4G and GeoChat, I never use them. Also, Messenger, it's been ages since I've uh, logged into Messenger or Facebook, so I'm not really sure about that. Snapchat, I used to use that a lot, but... Nowadays, I just don't see a reason to take a photograph and uh, not upload, upload it to Instagram and upload it to Snapchat because I don't know why. Taper Talk is another thing which I use a lot because I do have membership on all of these uh, forums and uh, I do use XG Labs for XG developers, but it's kind of finicky. I like the interface in here better, but uh, yeah, most people will deny with that. Uh, but only problem with this one is that the notification it just doesn't change you can see zenity restriction remix still source 4 in the notification in fact it is 13 5 so the notification needs to be improved a lot in this one so that is something which i am uh, looking forward to in update or something like that i'm not really sure so yeah now the browsers i use two of these browsers uh, chrome for most of my surfing whenever i am there and opera mini whenever i'm on my wi-fi because my wi-fi connection at home is shit it's really slow it's one of the slowest connection which i can get my geo sim card is faster than that but again uh with the mo with the latest geo capping at one gigabyte after that i normally switch to opera mini it works pretty well uh it is really great for most things when you are low on speed so that's something else for downloads such as rom downloads which is more than 100 megs uh i use adm it works perfectly now it does have um partition downloads so it is going to be faster it's kind of like idm for your phone works correctly uh, i really do use that and uh, i really do like it now there are other applications which are secondary to my uh, usage i do use xda labs as i have already told you guys but uh not the best situations for most things uh i do use this for this feed and there is another application for feed now so uh, i might just drop it from my list so yeah for reddit i am a huge reddit surfer i have been a reddit surfer for quite a while now and this is my weapon of choice it's called the reddit sync and uh, it works pretty well uh for most reasons uh i do use uh well in the settings you can see this is the uh, op version i'm using right now that's called the reddit sync uh free 14.2 whatever the latest version is it works pretty well it has a gif viewer it has a video viewer i can download the uh, pictures and that is amazing and i really do like that so that is why i am using this one now my geo is something which i use because i am using geo sim card to monitor data collect connections and all that so that is just generic there is another application called moto amino which is another thing which i use a lot uh because uh well it is a motorcycle centric application i do use this uh for many just just chatting around and you can see Google is what i am in here too so if you want to find me on here you can again there are public chats there are quizzes if you're bored out of it if you just want to talk about motorcycles i can't really think of a better application than motorcycle amino so that does work out really well and my file browser of choice is es filex a lot of people may feel that this is the, not the best choice for many of them because Earlier, ES File Explorer used to be amazing. It didn't have many ads. It was really slick. It was really uh, streamlined. It was really amazing. I really appreciate that. But lately, well, the developers has made it an ad bomb. It has a lot of ad 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 advertisement. You have to pay to unlock advertisement. All of that is there. 
Uh, the main reason I'm still using ES Explorer is the network feature, which does not require any extra stuff. Now, this is my desktop with my entire hard drive. So you can see I have a lot of hard drives, which is there. I have I where my uh, everything is there. And I, I, I consume media through my phone rather than my uh, computer. So this is a very important feature for me to have. I have tried Solid Explorer and uh, for the most part, it does work out but well it requires all these add-ons it does require this FTP server uh, add-on and all that not really my taste I might give it a try again but uh, for the time being this is what I am so yeah now on the other page there are a few other applications which I use uh, which is the first one is Polaris for second mates examination now uh, if you don't know I am preparing for this examination which is uh, second mates function and this application does have a lot of things which I want to learn from so yeah that is there this is my choice of uh, sound application sound uh, identification now I use both of them I use soundhound and also Shazam uh, for some reason I don't see the widget here uh, I do use Shazam also which is amazing I really like it now in here you can see there is a comment which is YouTube comments in a Chrome page also I use uh, Wallhaven for all of my wallpapers and also reddit reddit sync but this one really does have a lot of wallpapers which I really really like now this is a web page which I have done with a uh, shortcut on the screen uh, because I think there is no application uh, out there which does justice to this website which is alpha wallhaven there are applications which does that uh, so yeah I really like the website rather than the application so that's just it now apart from that i do use uh my j downloader for all of my stuff so there is uh this the dashboard i use dashboard for remotely downloading stuff that's just how it is titanium backup every root user should have titanium backup and this is a professional version uh, because i do have a lot to backup and restore it takes really big time if i don't have hypershell so i am i bought the uh, pro version it works correctly so i really like it and also last i do use android for transferring files without the wire granted with the wire it is much more easier it's much faster it is much uh, more reliable but this is much more convenient so I still use this one apart from that there are a few other applications which I wanted to give a special mention to uh, Amazon shipping well that's just there I think every user every guy on the internet have used it so nothing special there now there's another application which is called whoosh which I used for tracking my uh, courier uh, stuff so there are some applications these are the stuff which I bought uh, it gives a, it gives me a little bit of uh, stuff about how uh, my products are being tracked that's something which i really appreciate and there's also an ab other application which i use called courier tracking now this one has a lot more options than the other one but the other the, uh, the one which i showed you gives me a little bit cleaner aesthetics for it so that's just uh, something there now this is called netcut which is an application which uh, i wouldn't really recommend anyone using because i the only reason i'm using this one is to defend myself from someone else using netcut what it does i really don't want to talk about what it does i don't want to make anyone aware of this application because it is a very shady application what it does is it cuts off everyone else in any other any network which you are joined into you can cut them out from the network so that they won't be able to get access to the internet which you are connected to so that is a selfish application i know i don't use it for any other reason than just to defend myself from it and you shouldn't too so yeah another application is meteor which is something which you can use to test your speed now i'm on geo so i do test my speed every second when i'm outside so that's just a, another thing zender is my choice for sending files over wi-fi to another person there is also share it I don't use it I just use Zender that's just how it is OBVI call recorder is a call recording application which I use because it does have automatic call recorder I really like that uh, another thing sync thing now sync thing is a very interesting application I use sync thing to sync my phone stuff to my laptop and my server fully without any internet in the middle so you can read more about sync thing and i might do another video about sync thing because it is a really cool application and i think every phone without an sd card should have this application and should back up on the daily to a robust storage solution so 
yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh video i wanted to talk to you guys about this if you have any queries on any of this application or the credibility of it do let me know do put it in the comments below i will be sure to uh, let you guys know what i think about it or you can reach me on hangouts so that's also another thing so yeah i guess that much i said about this video then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye